express appreciation to all these members for contributing their time and talent. And now we greet you, as our heroes do, with laughter or a smile. Hail, friends, let's laugh a while. in world's history he chooses. But who can explain this phenomenal scientific theory more clearly than its sponsor? Our honored guest, Professor Waldo J. Schweinstein. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, rather than repeat any more claims for my theory, I would much prefer to demonstrate. Uh, to do this, I must have a subject. And uh, I will be very grateful if one of you gentlemen uh, will uh, mentally select a character in history and by swallowing one of these pills be whisked back into the bygone ages. Uh, won't you submit to the experiment, Mr. Hyer? I'm sorry, Professor, but uh, I'm too forward to go backward. Perhaps Bill can try it. No. I've played all those fellows. I know their secrets. How about you, Jimmy? Mm -mm. Not for me, Bill. I might land back in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Hale? Back through the ages? No, my wife won't even let me away for a weekend. <laughs> What do you say, Alex? I'm sorry, but I missed the trying. They usually fall off my knife. <laughs> <laughs> but gentlemen, think. Unless I have a subject, I cannot complete my demonstration. You know, Bob, I think I'll go for one of those pills. Pills, nothing. What you need is a good bromo seltzer. No kidding. I've always wanted to go back into the past. You know, I've always had a yen to play Shakespeare's Anthony, opposite Cleopatra. Yeah, well, if you think I'm going to play Cleopatra, you're crazy. So I'm serious. I can see myself now as Anthony. Friends, Romans, countrymen, cannons to the left of me. Hands to the right of hey, me. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're all mixed up. That's Huckleberry Finn. Boy, you'd better stick to being a comedian. That's what you'd better do, because you will never make a Shakespearean actor. Now, with me, it's different. You know, I got the makings of a great tragedian in me. Say, it'll take more than a box of pills to make a Shakespearean actor out of you. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. If we weren't busy on a picture and had to rush right back to that studio, I'd swallow a hunk of those pills and I'd show you a Julius Caesar that was a Julius Caesar. <laughs> oh, no, you wouldn't. Oh, yes, I would. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Oh, yes, I would. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Oh, yes, I would. <laughs> Oh, no, you couldn't play Mark Anthony. Oh, yes, I could. Oh, no, you couldn't. Oh, yes, I could. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. No, you couldn't. You know, this thing could go on all night. Give me one of those. Things. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I see thee again, 
Hallelujah, Pastor. Thou art beautiful. Oh. Oh. Thou art beautiful. Your hair, your eyes, your nose, your lips, your... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait for me, Cleo. Wait for me. Galia es omnis deuisa in partes trace. To say nothing of e flora the unum. of them all. To hail with little Caesar. To hail with you too. Speak your piece, Mark, and make it snappy. I've got a lot of important necking to do. The Senate's investigating your administration, and here you are getting sunburned. Hi, kid. <laughs> Oh, there. <coughs> hey, who is this gazebo back there that keeps looking at us all the time? That's August 
Oh, August the 3rd. I thought it was the house detective. The way he's leaning against that column, I think he's a columnist. <coughs> oh, pardon me, I thought I was home. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Say, why don't you grab the 515 chariot and get back to Rome? I'll stay here and take care of any important business you might have. Mark, thou art a chiseler of the worst kind. <laughs> ah, a robin. No, it is a call for the banquet. Banquet? Yes, it is my birthday. Surely thou wilt come to the banquet. Will I come to the banquet? Well, I hope to tell you, Cleo. I hope to tell you. <laughs> Just make a runaway race of it. 